Okay, today we have a quick little Rosasi haul. This is about the Denal Oud line. My name is Jono, you're watching CX Sense. Thank you guys for tuning in today. As I said, we're covering the Denal Oud line. Not all of them, I, I have two out of three and I just quickly wanted to show them to you. They just arrived today, I blind bought them. Let's start off with this guy right here. Well, let me show you the packaging first. Like, this packaging is insane. Like, look what Rosasi have done. This is like wooden thing and it, it opens up like this and the fragrance sits inside here and you can like close it like this. This packaging is insane and the bottle looks really nice with like this wooden cap. There's this writing all over it. It looks really, really good. I don't want to spray this one because this is nasty. <laughs> this is called Danal Oud Jura or Jura, however you want to say it, I don't know. And this smells like horse shit. And I mean it. Like, this is pure skanky oud with some thyme, I guess, is in there, some spiciness, but it all composes to this thing that smells like horseshit. I don't know why I got it. I'm trying to get rid of it and by the time you see this video this is probably gone because this smells like shit to me. Like I, I've seen it a lot online and I wanted to convince for my, I can't convince myself and try it for myself as you guys should do too. Just because I'm saying it doesn't mean that you don't like that you have to hate it as well. Yeah but the performance I guess is pretty good on the whole line but the next one I want to talk about is this right here. The only difference is the lettering on the bottom right here. This is called Danal Oud Nashua. And Nashua is, this is really good. It has a lot of Oud in it and it's, well, if you don't like Oud you won't like this one. It has a lot of Oud, some spices like nutmeg in combination with honey and some different spices and I think there's vanilla in here. It is definitely a very, very nice scent for cold days. As I said, oudy, honey, that oud and that spices are covered in honey and it has a nice sillage. It's not that strong of a projector. It projects pretty strong, I'll be honest. But would it be a bit stronger? I would, I would have gotten a lot of headaches from this. But it has the perfect projection in my opinion. Longevity is insane, like easily 10 hours of this one. And it smells really good and you should definitely try this one on colder days. Like I got it now and it's getting warmer and warmer. It's not the best time that I've got it, but I'm glad I have it because once it's getting cold, I'll definitely reach for this. And I, I, I just love how it smells. As I said, there's a lot of oud. If you don't like oud, this might be too challenging for you, but if you like oud and you like that spicy combinations with a sweetened honey added to it, you will enjoy this one. And I'm glad I got this one. I'm definitely not glad that I got the other one. The other one is, that's trash. That's like, I could have chucked it in a bin by now, to be honest, <laughs> it's so bad. Well, yeah, that's, uh, it was just a quick little video. I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. I'll have this handle I'll link down in the description. I've been general, you've been fantastic as always. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Okay,